Hi, this is Gary Dennis. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our virtual open day for the plumbing um, courses that we have on offer. Um, I'm, I'm in charge of um, plumbing at uh, Heim Ferris site and also look after the team at uh, Moulton. So I've worked in construction all my working life, um, initially as a design draftsman, then as a project manager. I started plumbing in 2006 and then began teaching in 2011. Um, the other members of the team are Ben Ashford, who's been uh, a plumber, domestic plumber and heating engineer for 16 years. He moved into the education sector in 2017 as an on-site assessor working for the college. And then at the start of this academic year, he switched to teaching full time. Uh, John Braun, who's got 20 years of experience in all aspects of plumbing, heating and drainage, um, has also taught in a number of establishments. And Ian Dixon, the final member of the team, has 40 years experience as a time served plumber uh, and teacher. Um, I think he's been teaching now for about 20 years. So lots of experience within the team to make your learning experience really good. Um, reasons why you might want to choose a career in plumbing, heating and renewable energies. Um, there is a really high demand for skilled people in this particular area of construction. Um, it opens up lots of opportunities uh, to work for yourself um, and the work is extremely varied and it creates a good mindset for you because it gives you the opportunity to problem solve um, you'll often find yourself going into older properties where lots of plumbers have done little bits and pieces uh, and you need to find out why something's not working properly and put it right so it's a really varied and interesting um, career from that point of view then we can offer good progression routes both through your um, on your learning within the college but also great progression routes when you're actually out in the field so you can move on from an apprentice plumber um, into management, having your own business and all those sorts of uh, benefits that come with it. There's, a, there's great scope also to earn a good living. Um, average plumbing wage at the moment for a fully qualified plumber, um, anywhere between sort of 45,000 to 60,000 pounds per annum, which is uh, a very, very good income and allows you to have a good, good life. Um, teaching vocational courses when you hang up your tools. So you may decide, that, that, you know, as you get on later in your years, that you still want to to do something and give give a little bit back. And then you can do what we do at Moulton College, which is teach the vocational courses when you decide to, um, to say pack it in on site. Um, career opportunities. There's lots of career opportunities, lots of fields within the plumbing setup that you can. Uh, progress through um, domestic plumbing and heating so working in people's houses um, industrial and commercial plumbing so you'll be more um, working in schools hospitals and factories that kind of thing maintenance operative where you go around with a call list and working on problems that people have sent in to say that um, they need things sorted out in their houses bathroom fitter kitchen fitter drainage engineer pipe fitter and finally gas engineer um, every property in the in the country or nearly every property in the country has a gas um, feed and therefore there's always work for gas engineers. So why would you want to study plumbing and heating and renewable energies at Moulton College? Um, well, there's lots of reasons. We, as you already explained, we have a very good team of, of teachers. Um, we have industry standard workshops that are being upgraded all the time. And we have excellent links with local and national employers um, and we we get information from them to tell us what um, is current and what we need to uh, be, be teaching you guys um, training sessions are delivered by by us as industry experts uh, there's a great balance of practical and theory lessons um, up-to-date teaching materials and all the lessons are led by staff with years of experience so study programs you'd start off with a, a level one diploma in construction trades occupations um, if you have not quite made the um, entry requirements for 
starting on a level one plumbing diploma. But if you have entry requirements that allow you to start directly on the level one diploma, uh, that would, would be a year's course. And then your natural progression would be onto a level two diploma um, and then onto a level three. So each of those courses have a one year duration and it's all um, progression through specific routes. So I've just spoken a little bit about entry requirements. Um, in order to get on to um, the level one diploma, we would prefer you to have um, four GCSEs um, with a grade up to grade three. So um, that would give you the requirements to get onto the level one diploma. Um, for level two, you need to have um, a grade three or above um, and the level three is um, a natural progression so if you've got the requirements for level two you would be um, have the correct qualifications to progress onto the level three um, during any of that time um, if you've got yourself a diploma um, you can transfer it into the apprenticeship department um, and that would um, would lead you directly into work work based learning. Um, there's also good ways to progress up through all the levels, and you can actually use your plumbing qualification to um, to get into university. So, um, what will you learn? Okay, so the course is going to be mainly domestic and industrial plumbing and heating. Um, there'll be a little bit of um, gas servicing and installations as you move on to level three um, as there would be some solar thermal installation and more all at the uh, the level three end of the um, scale so level one is going to be your basic introduction to plumbing uh, you'll look at uh, safe working practices tool and fitting identification how to use the tools safely and how to fabricate basic pipe work um, alongside your main qualification you're going to be doing English and maths if you haven't already achieved your GCSEs. Um, we would try and give you some employability skills, so we'd get you working in other departments as, other than plumbing to uh, learn some basic carpentry skills or some tiling skills, which would give you a good skill set to actually move into employment. And we'd also ask you to try and find a work placement, so some work experience um, so that you have that working alongside the the basic pipe work fabrication that you'll be doing in our workshops. Um, when you move on to level two, um, we broaden your knowledge. So obviously we're going to take you from very basic plumbing into um, stuff that um, is more complex for sure. Um, hence the requirement for the uh, the grade three English and maths as a minimum. You'll be looking at hot and cold water installations, various various assessments in a workshop, uh, culminating in a, in a bathroom assessment, but you'd do uh, cylinder installations and cloakroom installations and that kind of thing. Uh, you'd look at some electrical, in, electrical principles, very basic electrics, um, and then drainage system implementation so that you have a fairly broad knowledge you can then move into a level three with should you wish to as a full-time student or you are then at a point where you could definitely go into work-based learning as an apprentice with um, an already fairly competent level of plumbing behind you um, as you go through the courses the english and maths doesn't go away so if you haven't achieved your gcse you would still be studying english and maths at college and also the employability skills and the work placement are uh, continued through all of your college time. Work placements need to be a minimum of 30 hours, one or two days per week. Um, we like you to find your own work experience close to home or with family and friends. And we have college work placement officers that can assist if required. Um, you can see a quote on this slide from one of our students uh, talking about his experience with work placement he says i really enjoyed it actually it was hard work but the hands-on experience taught me a lot 
I've made some great connections in the industry for when I qualify and want a job. So it really works. It gives you some on-site experience and also gets you out there um, and people get to see what you're capable of. So it helps you take that step into industry. And um, what does it cost to come to the college? All your, all your fees are paid by the government. Um, so it is free education up to 19. Additional costs, you'd need to have work trousers and safety footwear, um, which obviously is your own individual PPE. You need some uh, a tape measure, preferably and a Sharpie pen to mark the pipe work. Um, a couple of ring binders, I would suggest. Um, stationary, so you know, a pencil case with pens and pencils in. And um, you know, if we go on trips, there may be a requirement for you to make a contribution towards the cost of a trip. But otherwise, it's um, it's not. There's no need for you to spend lots of money to come to Moulton College to learn a trade. The typical timetable um, over the course of the year, we study practical and theory units. Um, at level one, a lot of the theory will be done in the workshop because it's based on tool use and maintenance and safety. Um, there will be a few units where we we go into the classroom, but um, at level one class work is is fairly minimal that changes slightly with level two with um, theory and practical split 50 50 between your um, a classroom and the practical workshop um, you study for 18 hours a week um, so three days this is a, a mixture as I say of practical theory maths and English if required work related study and you will get personal development tutorials as well as tutorials with your tutor to discuss your personal progress. So what's, um, what's good to know? So your good career prospects, this, this nation of ours is constantly building now. And so the potential in Northamptonshire and the surrounding area is absolutely fantastic for career prospects. And you'd have work, a job for life with a good income potential to progress, flexible working hours, particularly if you're self-employed, um, you know, um, that sounds great, flexible working hours, but, you know, you only get out of any job what you put in. So the emphasis on your career is reflected on how much work you actually put into it. Okay, so that kind of ends the, the basic presentation. Um, if you've got any questions, we have somebody standing by to answer your questions in a chat box and um, hopefully we'll be able to answer any questions that you may have thanks for listening and i hope you have enjoyed your virtual open day thank you